Hi Booktube, it's me, Sharon. It's been a while because of busyness that I could not really help, but I'm back. Today I thought I'd do a review on the latest book I just finished reading. It's called Hacker and it's by Ted Decker. I got the book from NetGalley and so my review doesn't have to be positive, but being that it's Ted Decker, it's likely going to be. I was really excited about the book. I've been waiting for it for a while because it's called Hacker. And I, I like computer stuff, you know, I thought it would be really interesting. It follows the story of a girl named Naya Parks. She's 17 and she's brilliant, and obviously at computers. And it's about further dimensions of reality. It's part of the Outlaw um, series that Ted Ek is working on, and hopefully I'll get to review those books. But it's really, it's quite food for thought, actually, because what happens, some of what happens in the story, spoiler alert, she has a friend, Austin Hart, who has a brain tumour, and his overarching goal is to get rid of that. He's also super brilliant, so in his little uh, flat he's got computer imaging device and neural all kinds of things and he is trying to figure out a way to get past this reality and that involves what some call NDEs, near-death experiences. So suffice it to say that it's very interesting. It is. A um, few things I would have liked to have seen more of was a little bit more of Naya on computer stuff. I mean, while I did enjoy the book and it was different, it was. I wish there. Were, I just wish there was more of that aspect of it. Maybe if it could have tied into the story more. And the bad guy seemed completely lifeless to me. He was one-dimensional, I suppose. He had no real motivation, which is weird for me to say. I don't usually care, but. It, he seemed really flat, especially as compared to some of our, Ted Decker's other um, villains that he's written, like Marsuvi's Black, which is one of my favorite, and he's in some of the, the Paradise novels. But what I really did like about it was what there was of the computers. I liked how he brought Jesus into it, because all along this boy, he, it, sometimes I was reading and I was thinking, he's saying real truths, but he's saying them from a from a, a godless perspective, as it were. And at the same time, they some of the same truths he's starting to understand that are actually true, you know? Like, you find you can come to the same conclusions from stu uh, studying the Bible and getting to know that. And he was coming to these from science. So I thought that was cool, and I enjoyed that. And I also just enjoyed how smart he was. It kind of encouraged me to go do something productive like that, learning all about who knows the body or programming or whatnot. So yeah, I really did like Hacker though, and uh, I think the cover is really cool. If I just saw it sitting there, I would pick it up and look at it and read the blurb and everything. But yeah, it was a good book, and you should check it out. I think you'd enjoy it too, possibly, if you like that kind of thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's my quick review of Hacker, and I will see you next time.